Good afternoon to everyone. I, Shubhastri Basu, faculty members of Botany Department, Barakpur Rashtukuru Shurandhanath College, going to discuss about the herbarium techniques. At first, we should know what is herbarium. A herbarium is a storehouse of dried plant specimen collected from far and wide, mounted on appropriate sheets arranged according to some known system of classification and kept in pigeon holes of steel or wooden cupboards and are generally associated with botanic gardens and the word herbarium was derived from harbor that means plant specimens and arium means an artificial place. Tornifort 1700 used the term herbarium as an equivalent to hortus siccus and Linnaeus also used this term. It was mainly through Linnaeus influences the word herbarium superseded the former term hortus siccus in Latin literally means the dry garden. Now there are, this is the herbarium one specimen that is showing the herbarium and there is some history little behind uh, this herbarium. Lucagini 1556 was initiated the art of herbarium who started collecting, drying and pasting them over the paper. Girard de Sibo, a student of Lucagini began, uh, began collecting plants and preserving them from 1582 and continued till then. In those days, the herbarium was bounded into volumes and just uh, like a book and they are kept vertically in the libraries. However, in 18th century, Linnaeus started a new method in which he mounted his specimen on a single sheet and started shorting them flat horizontally, which is followed by all the museums and herbaria in the world. So this is the herbarium which I have discussed that is it is the collection of dried plant specimen and should be arranged according to some accepted system of classification. There are some objectives behind this herbarium. Why should we prepare this kind of herbarium? Because herbarium provides some facilities to determine any materials including new taxa. It also enables the preparation of new monographs and floras. It also preserves specimen of prehistoric importance. And it is the assembled, it, it, it assembled the data for working out ranges and ecological distribution. It also brings together a relatively permanent form of specimen for comparative morphological or pheno. Uh, phylogenetical studies also and it also provide the materials for specific research as in plant taxonomy, palynology and ethnobotany and also for molecular research. This is the pigeon hole almirals where the herbariums were kept and preserved in Central National Herbarium which is situ situated in Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bosch Indian Botanic Garden. Now there are some important botanical guard, um, uh, herbarium in the world. So what is the appropriate size of the herbarium sheet? We have to know about the size of the appropriate herbarium sheet. Generally the size of the mounting board that is known as the herbarium sheets is 42 into 28 centimeter. Then the label with the size is 12 into 8 centimeter which is generally pasted on the bottom right hand corner of the mounting board and the specimen is pasted just centrally. Field number or the uh, field number should be uh, given at the middle of the left margin and the access and number or the barcode at the right top of the herbarium sheet. Okay. Now there are several types of herbariums and herbarium ranges from small personal collections mostly of a few hundred species to a large collections of colleges, universities and private foundations and government agencies also. 
and there are several kinds of herbarium all over the world like number one the international herbarium that is situated in royal botanic garden q national herbarium uh, central national herbarium uh, which is in our Kul Mahaura, regional herbarium which is situated in Andaban Nicobar regional center BSI port player university herbarium Calcutta university herbarium in Kolkata medicinal plant herbaria uh, that is situated in central institute of medicinal and aromatic plants Lucknow economically important plant herbaria which is situated in industrial section of Indian Museum, Kolkata, local herbarium, Malabar Botanical Herbarium, Calicut, and agricultural herbarium situated in Tamil Nadu, agricultural university herbarium, Coimbatore. And so these are the all, all types of herbarium that I have mentioned. And now what is the meaning of that, which is written within the bracket, parenthesis? Uh, with a capital letter. This is known as acronym. Acronym is what? Acronym means uh, internationally abbreviated, accepted, abbreviated form of herbarium which is recognized by all over the world to, the, to all the botanical uh, or taxonomists or botanical students, researchers and all over the scientists. These are the pictures of some uh, the uh, Royal Botanic Gardens. Royal Botanic Gardens and National Herbarium, Netherlands. Important herbaria of India. The most important herbaria of India that is situated in Howrah, Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bosch Indian Botanic Garden, that is Central National Herbarium, and the acronym is. CAL, Central National Herbarium acronym which is internationally accepted abbreviated form is known as CAL. This is the picture, some pictures or snapshots of CAL. This is the BSI building, Central National Herbarium building, pigeon holes are millers are kept here, the well preserved herbarium materials are there and these are the some uh, snapshots of Central National Herbarium. Now the important uses of herbarium. What, what is the basic role of herbarium in teaching and research purposes? The herbarium serves as an aid in teaching botany to degree and postgraduate students. It is very difficult for a students to identify a local plants without the help of proper herbarium. Many specimens which the teacher would like to show to his students may not be available fresh at that time of giving the course. In this situation, available specimens in the herbarium serve the purposes. So we can identify an unknown specimen uh, with this help of herbarium. Range of variation. We can show how the vegetation and floras are there in the place of collections in the place where they are like to grow. So the range of variations and also the study of the um, population density, population study should be made with this help of herbarium techniques. Or we can say it is much more helpful a biosystematic studies also. Phenological data is, uh, phenological data is, uh, can be studied from this uh, herbarium technique. The morphological and phenological data which is well uh, described in the form of herbarium. Distribution, uh, inside uh, in, uh, on the papers on the herbarium sheets uh, where the plants are mounted should be mentioned with the distribution of collection and the study of flora that means where the collection was made revision works, monographs, we can prepare the revision works, um, uh, floras and monographs, anatomical studies, we can use this uh, herbarium material for the anatomical studies as well as palynological data. We can also uh, get the ethnobotanical studies also. 
and for molecular sequencing or molecular research purposes we can also use this herbarium for our futures research work publication of voucher book specimen we made this voucher book for the for our collections and we preserve the rare endangered extinct variety in the form of herbarium for future research work and uh, what is now we will go for the essential articles for the plant collection how will we make how will make this herbarium uh, in our institution uh, so there are some essential articles for the plant collections we have to make first to identify the plants what to collect how to collect and how to preserve them in a herbarium sheets so at the time of collection we should uh, take some cicature, this is the cicature, knife, kur kurpi, polythene bags, field data book, drying sheets, blotting paper or newspaper, field presses, straps, ropes, GPS for the collection purposes. Now, what to collect? Collection should contain at least flowers or fruit or preferably both. That means we have to collect the complete and perfect stage of plants. Sterile twigs or plants are of little value. In case herbs, we should collect the whole plants including the underground part should be collected. So if, uh, there, uh, if, uh, if the collection was done there it, it, in, in a short duration or uh, for one day, we can carry the plant press, newspaper or blotters. The specimens are pressed and then they are in the field. And the second method is to keep the collected specimen in a metal can call vasculum. Nowadays, polythene bags are available and they are of varying size. We can also collect the plant and place them inside these polythene bags also. What to collect? I have mentioned that we have collects. Collection should contain at least flowers and fruit, preferably the both. For the identification purposes, these flowers, fruits and uh, developmental organs are very much helpful. How much to collect? Please do not over collect the specimen. Do not collect scraps of plants. If the specimen is herbaceous, please collect the whole plant including the underground part. Uh, and it must be of the collection uh, should be uh, within 35 to 40 centimeter long. Very rare specimens like orchid, insectivorous plants, endangered specimen must be collected sparing, uh, sparingly. Collection should be made of the material in all stages of development as I have mentioned that it should contain leaves, it should contain flowers, fruits and so on. Sometimes the bulbous specimens must be collected for planting in experimental garden also. All the areas of the locality must be visited and then only the collection will be completed. So we not to over collect any plant specimen. Where not to collect? In prohibited areas, we know that in a prohibited areas without permission from the designated authorities, we should not collect any kinds of plant specimen because it hampered our biodiversity also. So we should not collect any plant specimen from a protected area like national park, reserve forest and so on. Remember, take nothing but sweet memories, leave nothing but footmarks. Plan the timing of the tour well in advance. We should plan our uh, the whole thing how to collect the plant specimen uh, in the field. There are uh, sn uh, some snapshots. The students were collecting their plant specimen with me in Chadipur, Balasore. Yes, this is the field data book. During the collections, we have to record some uh, necessary data concerned with the plants, 
which may not be present or detected after drying. So in this data collection, we should uh, write down the colorations of foliage, floral parts, corolla venations, anther coloration, uh, colorations, habitat, textures of the um, leaf or the branching pattern of the shoots, roots and so on, types of soil, moisture, altitude, latitude, all are mentioned in this field data book because after the collection, there is no chance to give any kinds of information about the plants. We will forget all about the things and the plant will be dry out of after, uh, during the mounting, during the mounting of uh, mounting. So the notes in the field, uh, note, the notes in the field note must be taken in pencil. If ink is used, it may get smudged when drenched. So we should use this felt data book with the help of pencils. The students are collecting with another my colleagues. At the time of collection, we have to describe how the plant should be collected. They collect some specimen, they collected some specimens with me. And I am describing the process and the identification process. Yes, that is tagging. After the collections of the material, plant material, they should tag with the plant specimen for the future references. And uh, these tag or access, uh, these tag should be helpful for the previous reference. Now, after the collection, what we should do? After the collection, we go for the processing of the plant specimen. And the processing of plant specimen includes first one is poisoning, then pressing, then drying, mounting, stitching, labeling, identification, determination of plants, and so on. The first one is poisoning. Since the tissues of the plants are killed, instantiously by the formalin, the formation of abscission layers is prevented and thereby preventing detachment of leaves, flowers, fruits and other plant materials. So dipping in the solution of mercury chloride which is very carcinogenic to us uh, and we should avoid this uh, type of chemicals and nowadays uh, our technique have developed which is known as formalin method uh, highly suitable for the tropical countries are using for this poisoning purposes. And this, this is the mercury chloride ethyl alcohol solution for the poisoning of specimens. And plants are dipped in this solution, left there 15 to 20 seconds, depend upon the thickness of the plants, we should uh, continue these poisoning processes. Without poisoning, we cannot preserve the specimens for long time. The person we, who is uh, involved in poisoning of plant material and uh, he is uh, touching these plants with the help of forceps only. After poisoning, what we will do? After poisoning, the pressing method is there. Pressing as far as possible must be carried out in the field itself. If it is process of placing specimens between the arborescence under heavy pressure. Now, during the pressing, remember that mercury chloride, I have said that mercury chloride is a highly poisonous and do not forget to wash your hands after handling the herbarium specimens. First changing is very important. So, uh, during the pressing procedure, we have to change the plant specimen. Uh, equivalently and the leaves are to be placed in the proper positions. One uh, leaf is placed uh, dorsal side and one should be placed in uh, ventral sides also. One or two leaves should be placed that the lower surface is visible. And the method is like that, pressing and drying of leaves. We should not place like that. We should place the leaf like that. 
this is the process of pressing tie up with the uh, rope tightly tie up with the rope the herbarium specimens are there this is the presser weight method of poisoning now during the explorations and expeditions involving longer duration the collections are bundled up in a newspaper and the bundle is placed in a polythene bag 10% uh, formalin is poured into the so uh, uh, in, uh, just into it and so uh, for the so for soak purposes and the bags are tie up with the uh, airtight no further changes is necessary till reaching the headquarters that means BSI center and this method is known as formalin method by this method it is possible to bring the collections made even over three to five months now i have mentioned the appropriate size of the herbarium sheets where we have to mount this plant specimen the her standard herbarium sheets is 42 into 28 centimeter okay After pressing, we will go for drying method, then mounting on a sheets. Mounting is a common method, we should glue uh, the plant specimen, generally we are using the animal glue with some uh, um, animal glue uh, used for the book binding are available in markets and flask pieces in employed it. The person is uh, applied these glues on the plant material and uh, going to prepare the herbarium sheets. And uh, to these glues, some insect repellent properly, small quantity of mercury chloride, thymol crystals, or copper sulfate is added also. Nowadays, uh, Fabicol also used instead of animal glue fakes and the mounting sheets with specimens glued on them are kept in place for a for one day for proper sticking and drying so so this is the mounting now stitching should be this is the method of stitching the stitching should be small and independent and uh, thread should not be car carried from one stitch to another on the lower side of the mounting sheet on each side of the stem twig, a hole is made and a thread is inserted. Now, a knot is put at the back and thread is cut after each knot. This is the portion which is stitched by this person. Now, label of the herbarium. After the mounting of specimens on the herbarium sheets, the pasting of herbarium labels is done on sheets and the size and design of herbarium labels slightly varying according to need and the size of about 8 to 12 uh, 8 into 12 sorry 8 to um, 8 into 12 centimeter they are placed just at the bottom of the right hand corner in the label why should uh, it should contain the following data also like name of the family, name of the genus and species, locality of collections, date of collections, habitat, collector's name, field number, and the vernacular name, all the local information provided uh, associated with these plants. Herbarium level is fixed on the uh, bottom right and corner, one centimeter away from the edges of the mounting sheets, and it should be fixed with the paste or glue. This is the example where the labels are, label is pasted. This is a great banyan tree in Indian Botany Garden. Another example of herbarium sheets, Amazon lily, carrying four children within it. It is very uh, hard leaves in all over the world how they preserved these leaves. This is an insectivorous plant. Now collection of small aquatic plants. In case of aquatic plants, 
how we'll make this herbarium with this small aquatic plants. Lemna wolfia are the microscopic angiosperm and this plant should be collected in mass then sun dried and put in a packet and the packet should be pasted on the mounting board. This is the general method for the collection of small plants, aquatic plants. This is the packets where the aquatic plants are collected and pasted with the herbarium sheets. Now, in case of bamboo, species are usually found in sterile condition due to long intervals of flowering. However, a complete vegetation collection is used sufficient for identification of bamboos unlike other flowering plants. Many characters are to be observed and recorded in the field. Calm sheets should be collected in case of bamboos. Yes, this is the calm sheet. Now, in case of aroid, a thick fleshy tissues need to be killed either by heating at the high temperature and under proper ventilation or by use of alcohol that is ethyl alcohol of 70% and formalin 10%. Preservation of aroid tubers is difficult, so only small sections are kept on the sheets. We should uh, air dry, we should sun dry the specimen and after the uh, dry, drying process, we can prepare with herbarium with this aroid specimen. Another example, collection of orchids, uh, I have said that Orchid, insectivorous plants and endangered species can be used for the making for making herbarium sheets also. Succulent cacti um, in for the purpose of collection of cacti or cactus, succulent cacti are pressed by splitting and joints, killing the tissues, then dried by the artificial heat in hot air oven. Now the shape and size and arrangement of the spines and the joints should be noted as before. This is the uh, why should we dry up the specimen and we should note down before the dry up that retention of color it it, it, it should be, uh, it should repeat it it should be uh, it should be needed to uh, re, uh, it should be note down the all the characteristic features before mounting because after mounting it cannot be visible the it cannot be possible to visible uh, all kinds of field characters. So for the retentions of colors of original colors of flowers, uh, leaves can be retained by preserving the specimen in bottles with falling solution we have used in our laboratories. 50% alcohol with formaldehyde, glycerin, glacial acetic acid, cupric acid and uranium nitrate are placed into a specimen jar and we should keep we, we can kept this plant specimen within this jar specimen. So preservation of specimen, poisoning of specimens are mentioned before. Now putting naphthalene balls or PDB uh, in the pigeon hole almiras, deep freezing, deep freezing is known as cryopreservation which is uh, 30 degree centigrade for the 72 hours. Humidity control should be maintained 65%, 80 to 24 uh, 18 to 24 degree centigrade. Fumigations with uh, be carry should be carried out with some tablets, uh, cell force uh, tablet that is aluminum phosphate are used for the fumigations in the institution. While putting this bundle back into the pigeon holes, it should be ascertained that the pile of sheets is proper. proper. Age and ends protruding outsides and bundles are liberal to damage. Mounted uh, sheets should not be turned over like the pages of book because it can be it can be damaged by the handling process but lifted and kept individually do not learn with elbows and bundles there are some precautions the specimen should be kept in proper af uh, place after studying them any specimen found in infected should be reported to the in charge of the herbarium. No flower fruits should generally be taken for dissections of herbarium sheets or mounted specimen. These are all the precautions we have to keep in our mind.
these are the some this are the some pictures of herbarium specimen repairing and remounting is not in your according to your syllabus one should bring plant specimen inside the herbarium only after the poisoning them no one should throw left over the food items inside the herbarium it is uh, it is a uh, it can be used for your future research purposes and educational purposes. The herbarium sheets will remain in a nice condition if these procedures are followed, if this all the procedures are followed. This is the herbarium specimen which is well preserved, well maintained uh, before 300 years ago. And this collection is there in Cal. These are the, some literatures according to Herbarium. S.K. Jain, Rao, Lawrence is a very good example of, good example of references for Herbarium techniques is. Thanks for your kind attention. And this lecture, I think this lecture is much more helpful for your uh, practical as well as theoretical purposes of my semester four botany honor students. Thank you very much.